what is going on guys hope everyone's having a great day hope everyone's staying safe staying healthy um so i haven't played pokemon in a while um recently i started to get back into it uh shining pearl and brilliant diamond has come out i recently just picked up shining pearl today my screen saver pokes up uh i just picked up shining pearl today today is black friday so i figured why not go ahead and you know go ahead and give this one a whirl i will be getting legends arceus when it comes out in january but i figured you know what i don't have really a whole lot to do um i've been shiny hunting on pokemon shield i think i recently just got a shiny phantom so it's pretty cool 25 hatches i didn't believe i was going to get it that quick but hey however um i have already played diamond and pearl so i think they stuck to the same kind of you know story but you know i figured why not let's just go ahead and give this a big whirl i've done pokemon on my channel i haven't played pokemon unite i recently just downloaded this game today because i put it off and my friends like oh dude you should play it you should hop on and play it with me uh it's actually pretty fun if you guys want to see me and her do some pokemon unite battles let me know uh it's pretty cool when we go in through here uh, i think i'm level seven in that game so you know it's pretty cool um but uh, yeah, they're also going to be adding Pearl and Diamond, or Shining Pearl, Brilliant Diamond to Pokemon Home later on in 2022 when Legends Arceus releases, because Legends Arceus is also going to get added to Pokemon Home as well. But I figured, hey, why not go ahead and do a playthrough of Pearl? I haven't done a playthrough of Pearl on the regular Nintendo back then because uh, capture cards on the DS was kind of hard to get. So. Yeah, it, it, if you guys hear anything in the background, just know this is a live playthrough. I'll do my best to kind of edit those parts out, but I'll try not to do it too much because I don't want to deteriorate from the story of the game while we play. So with the introduction all out of the way, these are also going to be longer playthrough videos. So I figured, well, why the hell not? Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, by the way, you guys have been showing a lot of love to the Call of Duty videos and the Halo Infinite videos. So, hey. Thanks for, thank you for that. Um, I did kind of want to take a little bit of a break, but I figured why not let's pick this game up and record it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, my boyfriend did kind of play a little bit. I haven't loaded this up. He's played Diamond because I got it for him for Christmas. But we're going to put out some more content for you guys for this one. Um, so yeah, we'll see uh, all the new stuff that they added into the game uh they did add a couple of new things to kind of make the game fresh and everything i think you can change your uh you can change your looks and outfit i don't believe you could do that with the last game then again it's been years since i played diamond and pearl i was a little kid i wasn't even doing youtube so yeah this is the first time i'm doing it so of course english let's start the game in english because i don't understand fully all the other languages Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Professor Rowan. The Pokemon Professor. Oh, uh, well, I'm gonna call you Rowan. This world is widely inhabited by creatures. Also, I don't know if you guys will be able to see fully the, uh, the text down below. So, uh, I may have to make some adjustments here and there. We'll see how this first playthrough goes. If you guys want to see the text, uh, and if you guys want to see the full text, I'll take away the, the border for this video, for this playthrough. This way you guys can, you know, be able to have the chance to read everything. And I'll probably move my camera up into the top left. Uh, this way, I'm not hiding any of the words. But, uh, this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Uh, put out a bunch of we humans live alongside Pokemon as friends. It's time we play together, and at times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. I think you tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm obviously a kid, so asking to know a little bit about a kid is a bit weird. Let's see, what should my name be? Obviously. Let's 
Your name is Techno. Yes. A fine name that is. Thank you. I made it all up by myself. Now this here, maybe is your friend, aka your rival. I don't remember. Usually your best friend used to be your rival, so we'll see if that's still the same. Clint, Ralph, Lewis, Tommy. Uh, okay, I'm not going with any of those. Yeah, let's go with Clint. Yeah, <laughs> let's go with Heaven Uh, what should we name our friend, huh? I don't know, let's just go with Randy. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't really care. Uh, let's go ahead and get into Randy. Yeah, that sounds bad. Let's not do that. That time has come. Your very own tale of a grand adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. You'll discover many things, perhaps even something about yourself. I go on and leap into the world of Pokemon. Um, so I will. So a lot of people who have been known to my channel for shiny hunting, I will be doing shiny hunting. Um, the thing is, despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon elude detection. The rumored red guy does fail to appear, even fleetingly. To the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jubilife TV on Nationwide Net. See you next week, same time, same channel. Okay. Well, it looks like they were trying to get a shiny Gyarados. Uh, before we go too far, a lot of you guys who have known me for shiny hunting, I will be doing shiny hunting. I will be doing shiny hunting. I will be playing this game off stream but i won't continue the story without you guys um if anything i'll probably just catch pokemon off stream and not really progress through the story unless i'm going to you know be recording it but um yeah so a lot of you guys i know me for shiny hunting because i did shiny hunt on stream a lot uh it just took a long time to actually get our shiny uh dust skull but um, I am going to be doing shiny hunting on this game. Uh, the way shiny hunting works in this game, a lot of people have been confused with it. And a lot of people have said it's broken. With the shiny charm, the shiny charm does not affect um, outside encounters. So chaining is bad. If you guys were old school uh, or if you guys know what chaining is, or if you're old school shiny hunters, or if you just watch a lot of people play, chaining, you have to get a certain amount of Pokemon over and over in a row by either killing it or catching it, and then after a certain point, in this game, it's after you run into it uh, 40 times, you get a better chance of getting it shiny. The shiny charm in this game only works for eggs. Only works for the Masuda method. You still need to get a foreign ditto, and you still need uh, to have the shiny charm in order for it to be a better odds. If you want to just do the Masuda method without the shiny charm, you can. Uh, but with the shiny charm, I believe they said doing the Masuda method, you have a 1 in 99% chance uh, of getting a shiny. So one out of every 99 eggs, you can get a shiny. Uh, but... The way this works for wild encounters, you want to use the Poke Raider, which you get later on in the game, and it counts how many steps and chaining is a you know big thing. I'll go over it when I start to do it, but without all that out of the way, let's go ahead and just continue the story because we can't even do that until we get the radar. Of course, we have the Nintendo Switch where the Nintendo uh, Wii used to be, or the GameCube used to be from the old one. People live alongside Pokemon in this world. The people that battle Pokemon are called Pokemon trainers, uh, of course. Uh, if you guys hear any cuts or anything, it's because I had to go away for something. Um, I won't try to do it too much, but just know I won't progress the story through a cut. So if you see me cut through something, uh, it's the, the story has uh, moved through. So that's just me doing uh, kind of the editing parts out that, you know, I had to kind of stop and break for a minute. Let's go downstairs. And talk to our mom. Techno, Randy came calling for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about. Maybe he has an ant up his ass. I don't know. 
It was an emergency. Maybe he has ants in his pants, Mom. I don't think it's my responsibility. He got himself into drugs, okay? I'm, I'm good. Don't go in the tall grass. Wild Pokemon might attack you. Yeah. I got that. You would be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So, thanks, Mom. Thanks for rubbing it in. Again, it's been years since i played uh, Diamond and Pearl. But I'm pretty sure... Yep, Rainy Sauce. The one with the mailbox is the one you want to go to. Rude motherfucker! By the way, if you guys are a kid, I think it goes without saying my channel's not for kids. I put adult humor on stuff like this. I grew up with the franchise. I'm probably going to be playing Pokemon well into my 80s when I'm in a retirement home. Whatever Pokemon comes out, I'll probably be playing it. Uh, just know, yes, I do curse. Uh, if you are new to my channel, yes, I do curse. Just go watch all my other videos. I curse. But, I try not to do it too much, but I do try to put an adult humor twist on things like this. So, if you are a kid, just know, I do curse. If you don't like it, click off my channel, please. Like, I'm not even gonna be nice about it. Just, it's gonna happen a lot. I'm giving you, a, like, a warning right now. I will curse in my video. It, it happens. I had someone come in my live stream say, y'all need to stop cursing and everything. And it's like, I'm 24. I don't know if I look younger. I don't know if I look like a teenager. I'm 24 years old. I put an adult humor twist on things because that's how I use, that's how I joke around with this stuff. So, you've had your chance to click off the video. I do curse. That is your final warning. Again, the channel is not made for kids. Thank you for listening to that little talk. Uh, what was that about? Oh, hey, Techno, I'm going to the late. You should come too and be quick about it. You're looking for that red Gyarados, aren't you? I'll find you one million dollars. You are... Aren't you ten? Oh, jeez, I got something. What the hell did you forget? And don't mind me, dude. Why did I take my bag and guidebook, too? We're going to the lake. I'll be waiting to the road, and it's a $10 million fine if you're late. Not in those little brat. I guess he got on Route 201 by now. He just can't sit still. I wonder who he takes us after. Obviously not the husband, considering he's not there. I'm going to hell for that one, but hey, it's fine. That's the weird thing, is you never see the dads in here. They're all gone. That's sad. Ugh. Yes, I saw the news report. You know, search for the Regardus, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. AKA the shiny Pokemon. Yeah, okay, what about it? I'll bet our la local lake has a Pokemon like that in it too. Why would you think that? Let's go find a Pokemon like that. Oh, now you're going to follow me. Oh, what happened to that $10 million fine, huh? Well, you're going to be behind me, so you're going to be paying me. I'll take that. I'll take it. $10 million? That, that gets me good. Gets me set. You know how many Pokeballs I can get for that? What's going on? Professor, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm, I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but... Fine, it's enough that we have seen the lake. Dawn, we're leaving. Bossy. Professor, how are you going... How are you enjoying being back in Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. There is one thing I can say. There are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us very well in regard to our studies. And you just up and leave your briefcase, dude. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Well, at least you said excuse me. I beg your pardon, we'll be on the way. Yeah, I forget that the professor's a bit of an ass missile. Yeah, they left their briefcase. Don't go into the tall grass. No problem, no problem. You won't be in there long enough for a wall Pokemon to come out. Says you! Oh, 
Most people forgot it here. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say professor. Maybe because they're the professor and the understudy? Yeah, see, this is what happens when you don't listen to your parents. So, there is an autosave feature in this game, and if you're shiny hunting, you don't want to have that turned on. It's turned on automatically. I thought about resetting for a shiny Pokemon. I don't have that kind of patience right now. If I want to, I'll Masuda hunt it, but I am not going to do a soft reset because someone did 400 soft resets to get a shiny Turtwig, and that's just... Mm, I'm good. If the first one I end up throwing out ends up being shiny, odds of that are very, very slim to none, but it'd be pretty cool. Okay, that's Piplup. Um, my boyfriend Alvin took Piplup, so... I don't think I want to take Piplup, even though I like Piplup. Uh, there's Chimchar, and then there's Turtwig. I'm not a big fan of Turtwig in this one. I feel like I'm going to go with Chimchar. Just because I'm not a big fan of Turtwig. And I can't get, I can't get the Piplup. The one that I like because my boyfriend already took it. So, because I went with a monkey in, I think the very first time I played through, I picked up, I picked Piplo, uh, the first time I played Diamond and Pearl. However, because I picked Grookey and Sword and Shield, I guess I'll pick another monkey. So we'll go with Chimchar. Alright. Which means he's gonna get, uh, Piplo. The rival. And it's not shiny, but that's fine. I'm not going to soft reset for a shiny. That would just be outrageous. Let's see, scratch. That's all I can do. I do know you can have your Pokemon walk around with you in this one, and I may do that with this because I think it's cool when they can walk around with you. Starly fainted. Pokemon gained experience points. Cool. Also, I will say I am going to be putting a pre order in for Legends Arceus through. The Pokemon Center, so www.pokemoncenter.com, and if you pre-order before you release it, or before the game release, when you pre-order, you get a uh, cute little Arceus plushie, and I'll do an unboxing of it when I do get it, so when I put the pre-order in, it'll be later on in January, but I will try to do an unboxing of it and get, uh, you know, show you guys the little cute plushie of Arceus's. I think it's cute. I like to collect stuff like that. I'm a little collector. I'm a big 24-year-old nerd. I know. Make fun of me in the comments. That's fine. Uh, but yeah, so I will be doing that. Um, if I can remember, I'll try to put a link down in the description where you can put a pre-order in for your uh, Legends Arceus. Or if you want to pre-order Legends Arceus, I'll try to leave a link to it down in the description of this video uh, where you can get that with the um, plushie if you want to do that. I do know if you uh, pre-order the digital version, you get a code for like 30 heavy balls. So I'm talking about a lot of Legends Arceus in this game because it's the one I'm waiting for, but you guys knew that. All right, back to the story. <laughs> so I hear Chimchar is totally wrong, but my foot blow was way tougher than you want. Yeah, but we had to use them. They are both those other people's Pokemon, but we had to use them. Those people won't mind, will they? Hopefully not, because here is one coming right now. There's this briefcase. A professor would have been furious if I lost it. Well, you did. Oh no. Did you use the Pokemon that were in here? 
you did. Oh my gosh, what's the professor going to say? This is not so good, or so not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Sure, just leave the Pokemon with us, girl. What was that about? I don't know what's going on, Techno. Let's get out of here. My Pokemon got hurt from that battle. If we get attacked by another Pokemon, we might be in trouble. But I thought you said yours was way tougher. Were you lying? You go ahead. I know we have to go return these Pokemon. They're not ours. But I wanted to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Considering you're going to follow right behind me. Now, of course, you don't get to run until you get the running shoes. That's tradition with the games. Hey, it's those people. Is that old guy staring at us? Yes, he is. Hmm. I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Chimchar and Piplup. I see. That's how it is. Dawn, I'm going back to my lab. So rude. Um... Okay, Professor, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Whatever. What was all that craziness about? I mean, if he was angry, he could have just yelled at us or whatever. And didn't he want his Pokemon back? We should go home, too. Alright, well, you're just going to make that decision for me, so... What's up, dear? Wow, I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that both you and Randy are unharmed? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sangdom Town. I've heard that he is well known for his studies on Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Techno, I think you need to visit him in Sangdom Town. Sangdom Town. I'm probably saying that wrong. You need to properly explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure he will understand. If this was real life, my mom would have beaten me. Oh, I know. Techno, put these on. You received a pair of running shoes. Going to Sand, Sand Gem Town, or Sand Gem Town, is like an adventure in itself, right? With those running shoes, you can get to far away places much faster. Let me read the instructions. Tilt the left stick firmly and dash about faster than ever before. Put the running shoes on and blaze new trails up of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Oh yeah, I definitely run faster. So you don't have to hold B, it's just like an automatic feature. Okay, that's cool. Before we get too far, let me go ahead and see if I can save. Okay, go visit the Pokemon Research Lab. Okay, I want to make sure I can save. Save your progress. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and go through this. Since I can now run faster without holding, having to hold B. I think I need to talk to Randy before I go. Become friends with the Pokemon too. Okay, that's weird. Randy, where the heck are you? Apparently you're not here. Ooh, watch phones. It's Pokemon Research Corner. Today we'll examine a wild Pokemon live in the field. Ah, uh, here we go, a wild drapion conveniently just came along. I was holding something, let's roll on up and take a look. Hi there, can I take a look? Okay, I really don't care about this anymore. Okay, let's go through here. Alright. I don't think I have a map. No, I have no map. I do want to check one thing though. Okay. So let's go ahead, head back out to here. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Let me turn off in a huge rush a while ago. That's, that's nice. Um, Trainer tips, don't be shy. Talk to anyone and everyone you happen to see. By talking to people, you can get invaluable information and advice. That's nice. If your Pokemon's health is HP is getting low, you should go home 
get some rest. Um, yeah, that's a trainer over there. Okay. Small Pokemon, wild Pokemon lurk in tall grass. They can come bursting out at any time. So if you want, wanting to battle wild Pokemon, just walk in tall grass. If you want to avoid, stay out of the tall grass. Pretty normal for everything. I work at Pokemart. Did you know that Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? Yes. Okay, she gave me potions. That's that's nice. Legends one way, jump down for a shortcut to Twinley Town. Cool, this is where the town is. I didn't even know that because I didn't know what the damn map is. And, like I said, it has been years since I freaking played this game. Well, at least the original Pearl. There you are, please come with me, the professor is waiting. Of course, his building is right there. <laughs> this is it, our Pokemon Research Lab, let's go. You should stop running into me, you dumbass! Oh, it's you, Techno. Oh god, he's not so scary as- He's not scary so much as he is totally out there. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm out of here. See you later. Okay! Yeah, tell me about it. He keeps running into me. I'm tired of him. He's hitting me in the face. Let's go inside. Finally, you come. Techno, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then. I'll give that Charmander... Or... Charmander. I'll give that Chimchar to you as a gift. Now that it's yours, would you like to give it a nickname? No. Your friend Randy told me what happened at the lake. I heard you battled very well, despite it being your first time. And for what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and that Pokemon though it is still young. That's why I would like to entrust you with Chimchar. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to... Oh, I just can't say it. What? What you gonna do, huh? Beat my ass? <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There is something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Senna region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is what I wish to ask of you. I want to entrust you with this Pokédex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokémon in Sinnoh for me? Sure. Good answer. You obtained the Pokédex. That Pokédex is a very high-tech device. They say that about all of them. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokémon you encounter. I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region, just like every other professor. I've got one too. When you walked up to Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? You lived for 60... I've lived for 60 long years. Even now I get a thrill when I'm uh, with a Pokemon. That sounds very dirty, old man. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go, Techno. Your grand adventure begins right now. The, po the Pokemon that I used for the first time was Turtwig. If you would have chosen Turtwig at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyways, I'm Dawn. I also help the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Techno. After you threatened to beat my butt, huh? Cool. Uh, what you got on the computer, Doc, uh, since you can be a, a creepy old man entrusting stuff with kids? Screen is filled with special terms and academic writing that is impossible to figure out. Sure. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with that. I'll act as your mentor. What the hell? I didn't ask for you to act as my mentor, Dawn. You got a bit more experience than you as a trainer. And as the professor's assistant. Follow me. 
This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. Yes, I know this. It's the place that heals Pokemon if you've been hurt. And of course, the Pokemart are again in two different buildings. Just like they used to be. Which I'm very happy they kind of stuck very, very closely to how things used to be in the games. I just didn't really like the Chibi characters a whole lot, but I can kind of overlook it. Because they're trying to stick very, very close to the actual Nintendo DS versions of the games. If I'm not mistaken, the first time, the very first time that the Pokemon and the Pokemon Center were in one building was in Pokemon Black and White 1, I think. I could be wrong, but I think that's the first one that had them in, in all of them, because... Yeah, it was that one. I just, I, I, it's been a while since I played them, but still. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Since you're a novice trainer, you will be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it bother you. Are you trying to tell me I am broke? That is true. I am broke. Thank you for pointing it out. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping Professor Rowan with the Pokédex? You may want me to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, but before you go, heal up your Pokémon at the Pokémon Center. It will be a lot, scary, a lot less scarier that way. Okay, bye. Deuces. I don't think I need to heal him up. He's already full health. Ain't that right? No, nope, not the Pokédex. Pokémon. Hey, he's full health. Why do I need to heal him up? Let me go talk to these people. Do you see the PC over there? That fancy blue one. If you got Pokemon with you, it's free to use. I'm very sorry we were working underground right now. Off limits to the public. Please try later on. Um, I think the underground part is for battle. I think the upper part is for trading and battle with your friends or something. I think the downstairs part is for online. Uh, talk to that nice lady at the counter and hand her your Pokemon. She'll restore your Pokemon full health at no time at all. Local club is located at the top floor of any Pokemon Center. There, you can have all sorts with your funds with your friends. I can't talk. Yeah. So they went back to the way of before the YCOM from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, you would go through here to try to play with your friends and everything. So they're trying to go back to that kind of stuff. Well, at least keep it tied in because that's how it used to be. I feel nervous about going into the local room. I don't know why you feel nervous about going into the local room. The Coliseum isn't ready yet. That's for battling. Welcome to the Union Room. This is the Pokemon Local Club. You'll be able to interact with other nearby trainers here. You need to save your adventure to enter the room. Would you like to enter? I am good. However, you can still do it with a link code with your friends and uh, family who uh, other who have you know other Pearl and Diamond games. So yes, with my group. I don't know what yes with my group is, but. I'm here to help you with your appearance for the union room. Would you like to select a trainer appearance? Sure, why not? Youngster, Pokemon breeder, gentleman, guitarist, rich boy, camper, hiker, young couple, boyfriend, next. Idol, madam, uh, madam, or whatever. Battle girl, cowgirl, lady, aroma lady, last, young couple, girlfriend, next. I'll do guitar because I do play guitar, so. Sure. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not gonna go into it right now because my boyfriend's not playing right now. Um, plus, I don't really have much to do. So, yeah. Again, I will be doing a lot of, like, travel around and talk to other people and probably go into buildings. So there's a lot of side exploration just to kind of refresh my mind to stuff with it. But you also get items that way. I didn't go into one of the rooms over there. I was trying to do that. Thank you. I was trying to go through here because I forgot to do this. The refrigerator is filled with tasty sweets. I wasn't on there. 
What about the coffee? I want, I want to take the coffee. Okay, no. Okay. Well, fine then. I didn't want the coffee anyways. Dawn's house. Okay, well, that's her house. But this is how you get a lot of the items and uh, evolve items that you can get with some people. They grow strong by battling. At first, you should heal your Pokemon regularly. Yes, we should. We already know this. A good trainer, one is a good trainer is one that takes care not to let their Pokemon faint. Well, sometimes it just happens. Damn it! It's not like we choose to. Hey, what do you have to say? Not much. Okay. So I don't get what's happened at all. So don't forget what's happened till now. It's better to save this. Oh wow, Pokemon is so cool. I wish I had some. You can help you get stronger by having the battle. Whatever. Town of Sand. Okay. Well, I'm gonna come into Dawn's house real quick. Oh, your techno? Hey, you're doing that Pokedex thingy for the professor. Wow, that's the same as my big sister. Go for it. Also, that Rowan fellow is back. He's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and Grinchel help Rowan with his studies now. That's cool. Well, they got nothing in here, so... I'm gonna see my way out. Alright. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up in a battle some way. Or not. If I just do this. That's why I can go and talk to my mom. Tell her, hey, what's up? Bye. I'm, I'm leaving. Deuces. I'm 10 and I'm leaving. Pokemon Techno, are you and your Pokemon healthy? I just made dinner. Take a quick rest, dear. Whatever. What's up, Techno? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big? Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your back. How I know, Techno, I've got something that you'll find useful. The guidebook. That would definitely be helpful. That's a guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about something or have questions. During your adventure, you may find an answer. A journey full of adventure. I envy you. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking. I'll be alright here by myself, dear. So you go and enjoy yourself. Yes, don't cry and don't fill my room up with cats, please. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. That sounds weird when you put it that way. Please come back. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you caught. Okay, useful information for your adventure. We'll be added to this guidebook. You can check in, check it in your bag's key items pocket. Okay. Excuse me, is my little Randy here? Oh, no, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless, I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry, Techno will deliver that to him. Thank you for volunteering me. The answer is no. He should have gotten his ass back home. No, I wouldn't. I don't, I don't like your kid that much. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> Please take this to Randy for me. You owe me $10 million since your kid wanted to find me that earlier. Alright, enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight to Jubilife City. Okay, please take that to my Randy. See, if this was real life, my mom would have told me to get my mother ass over here right now. Or I'm going to beat that ass. So, I, I, I'm trying to blur it out because I don't want to, like, YouTube to bleep me out so much. But, yeah, y'all y'all, y'all know. Millennials, y'all know exactly how much... Y'all know exactly what that means. Get over here before you end up not having an ass to sit on. Alright. Yes, let's go ahead and save this real quick. I know it auto-saves. I'm just... If I make progress into something because I'm recording this, I don't want to, like, screw it up, so. If you're getting something important, what the hell is that, Mom? My hat? 
ah, oh, well, I could have gone without that, but, you know, that hat always did suit you. Now, off you go. This is... You know, I didn't check this house, did I? <laughs> I'm just gonna stop by the neighbor's house real quick. I went on an adventure with some Pokemon a long time ago. And it was only uh, to the next town that I... Yeah, good, to good times. <laughs> Whatever. Weird kid. Okay, well... Oh, I now have the trainer card. Cool. I don't know why I have like a really weak arm. Why does it look like I have a bracelet on? Do I have a bracelet or something on my hand? I really hope that's a bracelet, not something like messed up. Um. Okay. Often making session zero toughness, cleverness. Cuteness. Oh, they have those contests back. Yeah, I forgot about that. Single battle, double battles, master class single battles, and master class double battles. Fossil digging sessions, statue variants found. View badges. Yep. Alright. Let's close that out. Alright, I also want to check something real quick. Um... My controller better not be getting drift. Alright, guidebook. Use this item. Okay, well, I already know that. Parcel. Cancel. Okay. Well. Oh, okay. You can use the D-pad to walk. Kind of like you would on the Nintendo DS. But you would just walk. If you want to run. You would like. Use the stick. Alright. I think it's. Uh, no it's not over here. Ain't nothing over here. I don't have any Pokeballs do I? Do I have any money? That's something I probably should have looked at. Okay I have 8,000. Okay. Did it say I have two Pokemon? Pokedex, two Pokemon. Okay. Okay, so I have like 8,000. I need to get some Pokeballs. First and foremost. Well, okay. Immediately got hit with, uh, Bidoof, but I don't have any Pokeballs to catch. Ain't that right? No Pokeballs. Yeah, bag. Uh, no Pokeballs. Crap. Okay, well, we're just gonna battle it. Try to level it up a little bit. Ouch. Why, why you hurt? Why you hurt me so much? I don't like that. Uh, growl. That does nothing. Lowers just my uh, stats or my attack or whatever. Yeah, lowers my attack. And dead. Okay. I need to go to the Pokemon, uh, Pokemart, and I need to get some Pokeballs. So. Need to go through there. So yeah, that's pretty much one thing. If you're going to shiny hunt, you may not want to use the stick. Uh, you're probably going to have to use the walking feature with the D-pad. Like that. I didn't know much about that. So again, the D-pad. Like, I don't know if y'all can see it very well. D-pad. And the thumbstick is to run. Okay. So. Um... Let's come on here. Yes, I would like to talk to you. I need some Pokeballs. I'm here to buy. Pokeballs. Let's go ahead and get ten of them.
And a premiere ball on the house. Oh. Yeah, I also want to get a antidote. Let's get four of those. And... Oh shit, my controller is like messing up hard. I may have to use my pro controller instead of this one. This is starting to be weird. Or maybe I just have to use the D-pad more. Okay. okay. I'm good. If you come across a Pokemon, you just gotta have throw a Pokeball. I believe the store and you'll never leave a town without one. If the Pokemon loses all its HP, it can't battle anymore. I'm buying lots of potions to avoid that. The shelves are jammed with colorful Pokemon goods. Cool. Alright, let's come over here. I have already explored this entire town already. And I haven't gotten the map yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Chimchar right here. Thank you. I do know later on in the game they do have it. Uh, they did add the if you guys have played what was it? Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu or Eevee, or Pokemon Sword and Shield, they did add the feature in this one where you don't have to continuously go to the PC like here to access your Pokemon. Like someone's PC. Like you don't have to access it from here. You can access it from anywhere. Um, that's coming from my boyfriend, not me, but he did say they added that feature in this one. That was not in Diamond and Pearl previously, so, um, also Rowan's PC. You've seen three-part Pokemon. Look harder for wild Pokemon. Don't be afraid of going into tall grass. Sure. <laughs> Professor, sure. Got that. Alright, well, I think I need to go up here. Yep, immediately right there. Oh, that's right. I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So just watch me. Every game we got to go through the tutorial on how to catch one. Yeah, Turtwig. It's not shiny though. Tackle, get it down to red health. Throw the Pokeball. Catch. Same thing as every other Pokemon game. It's ready for a Pokeball. It's in the yellow. You realize you can just hit X, right, dude? Okay. I got gotcha. you. You could just hit X and throw the Pokeball. That's quicker. Now, if I was to try to do that, I would not have a Bidoof. I would be out of Pokeballs, because it would keep popping out. Giggle? See, isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. Nah, shit! You only lowered it by hitting it once. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. A healthy Pokemon is very difficult to catch. Oh, Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep. Or paralyze it. Or something by using a Pokemon's move. To get you started, I'll give you some Pokeballs. I just bought some. <laughs> if you have lots of Pokemon with you, it'll be safer on long trips. Plus, it'll be a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Uh, okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Sure. At least you're not hitting me in the head like the other person. Trying to get something. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and see if we can catch Bidoof. Plus, I kind of need to level up Chimichar. Should have named him Chimichanga, but hey. You know, that would have. That's, that's a missed opportunity. I should have named him Chimichanga. All right. Yep. Yeah. 
Alright, let's just go ahead and throw this. Caught! Awesome, so we got Bidoof. Chimchar learned Ember. Nice. Alright, so he's going to be added to the Pokedex. Cool. Would you like to give Bidoof a name? No. How if I can find a guy to give me a nickname for Chimchar again? Chimichangas. What is going to be named? I'm going to name it Chimichanga. If it's another Bidoof, I'm just going to kill it. Ooh, Shinx! Woohoo, you're going in my team. Oh. So, if you guys don't know, Shinx is one of my favorite non-legendary Pokemon. And non-starter Pokemon, I should say. Non-starter or legendary Pokemon. So, one thing you can just find out in the wild. Shinx is one of my favorite. I love the shiny version of it. I have a shiny version of it in Shield. I have a shiny Luxray. So... I will definitely try to shiny hunt this one when I get the Poke Radar. And I don't know when I get the Poke Radar, I can't remember. Scratch. Because I want to catch this one. That one actually hurt. Alright, let's try to catch it. Boom, Shinx, there we go. Okay, there we go. Shinx's data will be added. I won't nickname this Shinx. I don't typically nickname my Pokemon. Unless I can just think of something right off the bat. I'm pretty sure this is a trainer right here, so... I'm going to go ahead and use these. Alright. Yep. Pokemon trainer. Happen to be a Pokemon trainer. Our eyes met so that I must. Battle we, we must. Why you say it so weird? What? You said it so freaking weird. Oh, look at me. I already got three. Darley. Let's go ahead and battle. Let's go through Ember. Awesome. And it's dead. Okay. Now you pay me money because you lost. I do like that they do give your whole team experience automatically as long as you're fighting with them and they're, you know, revived so they can actually... It's easier to level up. Beforehand, they did have it to where you couldn't level anything up unless it was in battle. So, this does definitely help. However, Pokemon involved in battle earn more experience points than the Pokemon on your team that are not involved, so... The more you use it, the more uh, they will level up. I wonder, can I rearrange this? Because I don't like the Pokédex being right here. I kind of like my Pokémon being right there. Oh, apparently I can't, so... Uh, let's go ahead and swap out. Let's go here. Thundershot. Since she only has one Pokemon, I'll try to just keep using Shanks. Give it a little bit more experience going. 
Ooh. Okay. Switching it out. <laughs> Bidoof. Go to Bidoof. Those guys up, uh, get Shinx up to level 5, Defense Curl, not really that good. I'll keep using the dude, just try to level it up a little bit. Go ahead and uh, use Tackle on that one. Oh, boo, I can't win. $348. Thank you. Oh, wow. What am I going to get? Cricket Talk. I'll catch it. I'll catch all the ones I find. Just try to, you know, get the shiny charm. That way, in case I do want to try to shiny hunt on here using the Masuda method, then, you know, I'll have these shiny charms do that. I don't know, I mean, I think there's a way you can get, uh, there's some people trading different dittos in the game already. So, I may try to catch a ditto on here and try to change trade for another one. That way, I don't have to wait until January to use the ditto in my sword or in my shield game. Speaking of which, I'm very happy that I got uh, Shiny Z Zimazenta and Zacian through the events. So, I am very happy about that. And I killed the Pokemon I was going to actually catch. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Alright, uh... Another trainer right here. I think he's the last one, and we get to another town. And when I get to another town, I'll try to end it while I get into another town. So, um... It just kind of depends. So... Yeah. I may record multiple videos in one go. Like, in one day, I may record multiple videos. So if you guys see me in, like, the same outfit, it's because the video is made the same day. I edit them on different days and upload them periodically as the episodes come out. So, uh, if y'all see me in the, new, another, uh, in the same outfit or whatever, it's because I'm chopping them down. Uh, right now, I'm already in an, an hour into the gameplay. Uh, hopefully, I can try to get into the next city before it's too much, because trying to render out two hours worth of gameplay is a lot for my computer to handle. Uh, not my PC to handle, but I edit them. I edit my videos on a Mac, on my laptop. I render them down, and I compress them. Uh, like, I compress the files so they're a little bit easier to work with without losing quality so I just you know fingers crossed that it doesn't get too much for my computer my laptop to handle if they're not I'll have to use my PC to upload it which isn't a big problem I think this is the next city let's go ahead and talk to her I take now you catching Pokemon um I think you feel a lot safer if you were to catch some more City, there's a trainer school, which, well, you know, you should visit it. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Randy went to the training school earlier. Okay, bye now. Okay, 
I will catch more. So rude. Okay. I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I'm already an hour into this, so we got to Jubilee City. Um, I may record some more tonight. Uh, depends on how I feel. But I hope you guys stay tuned for the next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this adventure as I'm retaking a flashback to my past of when I was little playing Diamond and Pearl. Uh, so let me know uh, if you guys like seeing this kind of stuff i'll continue to upload my playthrough of it and then of course whenever i get the shiny charm of it i will shiny hunt on here as well um but yeah and don't worry call of duty videos and halo videos will continue to go through right now call of duty vanguard is in a bad state so i'm kind of staying away from it right now uh we'll see how it goes when season one launches but until then stay safe guys and i'll see y'all in the next video peace Thank you.